So Sophia, the character that I play, um, is a very deep well. Um, she's a complex, determined, um, quite restrained in what she gives away about herself. Um, she is economical with what she reveals to people. And um, this is because she's had a great tragedy in her life um, three years previous to where we are in the film. And she's trying to make sense of that and understand that and deal with this great grief. Um, and she has been unable to, so she has, she has come to a point where she is going to challenge everything within herself to find out, to make connection and to, make, and to understand what has happened in her life. Um, and in many ways she's kind of, she has absolutely nothing to lose at this point. So she will do whatever it takes um, to make sense of the grief and the pain. And um, her journey through the film is really about that, about trying to understand her grief and, and find a way to let it out. Um, and so when we meet her in the film, she's very singular, she's very intense, she's incredibly determined to do what she needs to do. And so there's great complexity because somebody like that is having to use all different sides of their personality to get what they want. She is utterly focused on her end game. So we get to see somebody and experience somebody who will use anything in her, in her armory, be that whether she manipulates, whether she, whether she um, seduces, whether she coaxes somebody, lies to somebody, uh, you know, she will, she will do whatever it takes. The reason I wanted to be in this film, um, very, very much actually, because I, I fell in love with the script the, the minute I read it. It was one of the most surprising scripts I've read in a long time. Um, and I remember I held my breath throughout. Um, was because it's a film about letting go, a film about forgiveness. There's, there's, there's a kind of deep spirituality to the film and that's what, where the surprise is. And uh, it's a film about the journeys that we have to go on to understand ourselves or to let go of our, our own pain, our emotional pain. And we often, to, to find that light, have to go into something very dark or face our darkness, as a, you know, um, we have to look at the dark inside ourselves in order to find our light. And that's most of the time what, what we're so incredibly petrified of. Um, so it was, you know, I, I think, I don't know if there is a genre for this film. You know, we, we, we say it's a horror film, but I, I think um, something else happens in there as well. And that horror, is an incredible metaphor for the deeper journey that's going on. And so I, I, really, I really wanted to be involved with a film with that kind of message as well. Um, and so there's, there's, there's great catharsis in the film. Um, it's frightening too. But um, we are all frightened of that dark in ourselves. And, um, and so I was excited by it. I was excited when I met Liam Gavin, our director, what he's, he's great vision. Um, and I could, as I read it, I, I, I could see it all and hear it all. It, it made utter sense to me. And I was fascinated by Sophia, the, char the, the character. Well, I've had the most wonderful time working with Steve Oram and Liam Gavin, our director. Um, it's been really fantastic. We've been in, um, we're in a very rare situation where it's, it's, it's really the film is a two-hander. So it's me and Steve. Well, it's me and Steve and Liam. <laughs> we're a trinity. We are three. We are. And um, 
that's that's a that's a fantastic and very rare thing. So we've had a wonderful process. We 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 spent time rehearsing before we started the film and kind of working out all together our backgrounds to the characters and for the film, which has been which is fantastic. You, you don't often get to do that, and it's 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 really rare gift. So we've had an incredible time. We are, you know, um, Liam. I, has such a, a wonderful vision for the film, and um, he is amazing at working with us. He knows exactly the pitch of every scene. So when obviously when you're working on something within this genre, your 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 fear is always that you could go too big, or how much do you push things, and um, uh, because it needs that tension. And Liam is, is wonderful at navigating you through the story in that way. And in fact, we've, we've kept it really contained. It's really contained within this intense relationship between these two characters, which, is, which covers everything. It's, a, it's in many ways a very strange love story. They become quite codependent. They are enemies at certain points. They, are, they hurt each other terribly. So it's, a, it's quite a dysfunctional <laughs> relationship, but there is tenderness at, at, at the heart of it as well. So, um, so it's, been, it's been wonderful uh, having that concentrated time with another actor and with a director and for us to be able to move through the story in that way. And that, that's been very, um, very rewarding. And, um, and we laugh a lot too, which I think is really important when you work on Have a film laugh. like this. Yeah. yeah, you know, I'm a big believer in you, you laugh when there's tragedy and you, you know, you cry during a comedy, you know. And um, so uh, we're doing <laughs> very dark things, but finding the humour within them as well. So yeah, it's been, it's been really fantastic. <laughs> My favourite horror film. I actually, I actually don't watch a lot of horror films because I am within one at the moment, and I don't fight. I, I realise all this, the the frightening things that we're creating, but I can't watch frightening films. I get quite, I get very scared. <laughs> but um, I, I was thinking about what horror film, kind in in some way, kind of influenced me to do with playing Sophia. And um, one that kept coming back, coming to mind was Polanski's Repulsion, and that idea of a woman being locked in a place where the where the walls are literally dripping blood in a way. The walls are closing in on you, and you have sealed yourself into a place that is utterly terrifying, and you have to face the darkness. So um, that was a film I saw many many years ago in Belgium, would you believe? And I remember coming out and with my ex-partner at the time having to go and get ice cream to deal with <laughs> how terrified I was. But it, it stayed with me as a, as a film very strongly. I think it was, it's utterly brilliant.